So we are here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and we're here because we want to learn everything we possibly can about the James Webb Space Telescope. So we're going to speak to the world's foremost experts. We're going to find how this went from an idea to a physical construction. So here's what's really cool. This space telescope is truly a marvel of international cooperation. 14 different countries worked on this project, and in the U.S. alone, 27 different states plus the District of Columbia have all contributed. All of this work is to support a, an incredibly ambitious mission. Scientists are hoping that this piece of technology will give them a glance at the very first stars and galaxies. And that glance, if we get it, could give us all new insights into the structure of the universe itself. The Webb Space Telescope sees back through time by looking at things far away as they were when they sent light out. So after the Big Bang, when the universe starts to cool down a little bit and we start forming the first stars, the first galaxies, etc., we'll be able to look at that and see how they have evolved compared with the ones that we see today. And the web, as you can see, has a massive mirror, but it's actually 18 hexagonal beryllium sections that will be carefully angled to work in concert. And light from that primary mirror made up of all those pieces will then bounce to the secondary mirror. Then the light will be focused onto the aft optic subsystem and directed to the instruments. James Webb is, is working in mostly infrared wavelengths and we'll be able to um, kind of avoid any planetary dust and peer in and see those, those first planets, galaxies that were formed, as well as looking around in our own solar system. But to see in infrared, the telescope needs a heat shield, and this is a startling piece of technology in itself. Because we're in infrared, we have to be kept really cold. You can't have heat from the bottom making its way up through here and getting up into here. You can't have um, what we call stray light, essentially light reflecting off of these our sun shield bouncing back onto the mirrors because that can raise the temperature of the mirrors. The shielding portion, sometimes called the raft, is made up of a super thin polymer film called captain. Each layer of the sun shield is about the thickness of a human hair. So even with five stacked together, all that protection comes from a very thin barrier. And that thinness is vital. The shield has to fold up neatly to be packed into an Ariane 5 launch vehicle along with the rest of the telescope. The JWST is currently slated to launch in October of 2018. After that, it will take 30 days for the telescope to make its million mile journey to Lagrange Point 2, that's called L2, and roughly another five months to activate and prep all of the ISOM components. And then the science begins. The scientific instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope will give us some incredible new information about the galaxy we live in and galaxies far beyond our own, so long as everything goes according to plan. Over the first two and a half weeks, three weeks of the mission, once we're on orbit, all this has to unfold. Each time we unfold, we call it a deployment. We have about 180 of those that all have to work in the first two and a half weeks. The only thing that we can't prove on the ground is that it will unfold in space. So what we have to do to make sure about that is we have to test it over and over. And right now, the JWST team here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center is working hard to make sure that plan does indeed come together. As every aspect of the telescope is assembled and tested, we're getting closer and closer to learning more about space than we have ever known before. So if you are excited like us and you wanna learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope. Stick with us. We're going to have tons more information about all of the science and technology that's going into this project. Ooh, like infrared spectroscopy. Yeah, completely. So stick with us. Check in every day at now.howstuffworks.com.